Hey guys, uh, I'm Anand Bed, uh, your tech guide in Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to rip apart the base of the HP Pavilion 15 or 14 CS series of laptops that have been launched recently here in India 2019. So after watching this video, you'll be able to upgrade the RAM, uh, hard drive, M.2 SSD. You'll be able to replace the battery. As well as if you have not purchased the laptop as yet and you want to know how the hardware of the inside looks like, this is the video you need to look at. So it might be a CS1000 series or a CS2000 series laptop. This is the video that you need to look at. So let's do it. So if your laptop uh, is something that looks like this uh, when you open up, it might be a mineral silver or a blue or any other color. This is the way it looks on the touchpad and keyboard side. And uh, once you close it, this is the way the LCD top panel looks like. And if this is the way the base of your laptop looks like, then this video is for you. To start things up, we need to first flip the laptop and uh, you will see there are these visible one, two and three screws and there are hidden screws over here, which you need to remove. Take uh, a prior like this and uh, start protruding the rudders that are there very gently so they do not cut off there are screws hidden remove this one screw over here this is the hinge screw two screws over here on this side of the hinge and now is where the difficult part is you just need to take the prior and start protruding make sure uh, you don't start from the usb ports or from the memory card area over here there is metal casing all around over here and uh, if you take uh, prior and start protruding you have to start from here now this is where it gets all complicated and tricky and uh, the design failure of hp is visible being a bomb for this kind of laptop and the design of the base being so pathetic that you will see now uh, the way you have to protrude it wherever you protrude the metal will basically it will be visible where you have protruded actually it bulges out and uh, very very pathetic design Once you have this leverage here, just need to keep removing it and you need to just very gently put the prayer and remove. Now you need to be very very sure that you start from here because there are holders inside which will not allow if you starting from this side. There are holders locking onto the battery inside, three of them. Just need to slide it away and you need to remove it like this. As you can see, one, two, three, these are what are holding on to the battery inside over here in the curvature wherever you have pried it is all bulged so you just need to again press it so that uh, it does not look ugly even uh, this part over here just need to see to it that you again press it back very poor design by HP I'm, I'm very very sad at the way they've designed this laptop and I'm also sure that uh, it will have some hinge issues because even now when we've opened it uh, the hinges were not very sturdy and even the screws that they have put are not too many for it to hold on for a long time so this is the way the inners of the HP Pavilion 15 CS series of laptop looks like this is the hard drive this is the battery this is the RAM bay area two RAM bays it has been provided with this is the area where you can put M.2 NVMe SSD by default uh, they put a normal M.2 SSD if it is coming with SSD do not put NVMe SSD so let's start with the battery and uh, for removing the battery you need to remove these screws and uh, the battery is connected over here like this and you just need to very gently remove it and uh, this is the battery that you need to buy if you want to replace the battery two years from now it, it is a uh, HT03XL H as in Himachal T as in Tamil Nadu 03XL battery the battery has 11.5 voltage and 3470 mAh battery that is around 41.9 watt hours battery capacity so it will give you a good comfortable battery backup of around 5 to 6 hours coming to the hard drive just need to remove this one notch over here and remove the strip SATA strip connector and need to remove these screws one, 
to and the hard drive will be off need to remove uh, this strip connector again a very delicate strip connector here a lot of fooling and uh, this will get damaged most of the laptops are now coming with this so remove it like this the way i have removed it now use your two thumb fingers and remove it so it basically has a 2.5 sata hard drive in it one terabyte up to two terabyte ssd as well uh, you can take a uh, one terabyte ssd 2.5 form factor and need to remove this uh, holding uh, rubber as well as these two screws after which you can fit a new hard drive or ssd the ram is basically a 2400 megahertz that hp has integrated 8 gb or 16 gb the maximum upgrade capacity is 16 plus 16 that is 32 gb in total ddr4 low voltage 2400 megahertz is what they have integrated so we were expecting at least a 2666 megahertz but uh, they have a 2400 just take another memory like this and insert it into the ram bay area and just press it coming to the m.2 ssd it can be a normal m.2 2280 ssd or a nvme ssd the CMOS cell is buried somewhere inside so in another video we'll basically show you how to replace the motherboard also this is the processor fan just need to remove one two three four five six screws for removing the heat sink and then one two three four five screws for removing the processor fan now, this is where uh, the wi-fi chip is uh, it's a normal ac 750 mbps wi-fi chip just remove this one screw over here and you're good to go this is the dc jack connector all the way through just need to remove these two uh, hinge connectors and you can replace the DC jack also. All in all, uh, not a great looking uh, design basically. I'm not personally very happy with the way they have designed the base, the way they open it. Let's hope it lasts for a long time. Let's start assembling it back. If you want to replace the speakers, the speakers over here, one and two. There's one screw that you need to remove here and uh, you can just remove this by removing the VGA cable here, the LVDA cable and you can remove the speaker basically. This is what happens when you're protruding from different areas. You have these bulges because of it having a metallic touchpad. You can see the gap here. You put the protruder and uh, prior and remove the base. This is what happens. Even over here you can see. That's the reason I say bad design. So we are through with the upgrade process now as with most laptops in the past 18 years of me assembling the laptops and reassembling the laptops I have never come across such a unwanted complicated design in terms of flower brackets very very stupid design by HP if you want to just replace the RAM or hard drive or M.2 SSD and believe me if you are not watching this part of the video you are going to surely see to it that you screw the laptop up so now what I am going to tell you here is very important after the upgrade process you just want to put on the laptop, it will not power on. You will feel that maybe you have not fitted things correctly and you will get all nuts and crazy. Just need to do a simple thing. Insert the power adapter and power it on. It will give you a message saying that CMOS checksum error. You need to enter and reboot the system. Once you do the enter, reboot the system, only then will it power on and give you windows up on that. So, I don't know why HP has done this, uh, security is one thing but stupidness is another thing. So, look out if you are really wanting to spend that kind of money on a HP Pavilion, uh, you need to be very very sure what you are buying here. Hardware wise, the specs are good but the design wise, it's an absolute disaster. Two years down the lane, I am expecting a lot of laptops coming in with a lot of issues with the hinges as well as the other things. So, this my friends was a video showing you the procedure to basically get deep inside into the HP Pavilion 15 CS series of laptops, this is 2019 here and you can upgrade RAM, hard drive, put an M.2 NVMe SSD, uh, you can uh, basically go deep inside to replace the speaker as well as the Wi-Fi also. Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much for watching.